Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Do you remember this name, Paul Whalen? No? Mm-hmm. Okay. So he is uh, that uh, former Marine, US Marine, that was detained, I think, in 2018 on espionage charges in uh, Russia, in Russia. In 2018, I think it was. And he was indicted, and convicted, and he is still in Russia. Do you remember, do you remember Brittany Griner? Yeah, okay. Uh, Brittany Griner, Greener, the cannabis girl, she was caught and uh, entering US with drugs. US, I'm sorry, uh, Russia with drugs. And she was uh, charged with possession and so on. And she was convicted for uh, nine years in Russian prison. Um, so that happened, I think, in 2022 when she was caught. And uh, she was released because the US put pressure on the Russians and the Russians exchanged her for Mr. Victor Baut, the merchant of death, that, uh, you know, the arms dealer and died at the United States for drug dealing, not for <laughs> arms dealing. Anyway, so uh, remember when Griner, the Greener, was, uh, you know, Americans were fighting for her. They were fighting for Mr. Paul uh, Whalen as well. Well, it some, seems like the Russians did not want to give uh, the Americans uh, Paul, but they gave uh, Britney. Now, if you are familiar with this guy um, from uh, um, Wall Street Journal, that uh, a reporter that was again uh, detained in Russia for espionage charges, uh, caught red-handed. Um, now, the United States is fighting hard to get this guy out, but not Paul Whelan. I wonder why. I always like to uh, uh, read people's biographies because sometimes you can you know have a hint or maybe you learn certain things always is good because I mean, I'm interested in uh, reading er especially people's early life which is usually uh, listed on Wikipedia in this case let me show you how uh, strongly the United States uh, uh, Secretary of State in this case is we just have an advisor uh, fight for Mr. Gerkovich, Jerkovich, Karkovich, Jerkovich to be released from um, Russia. So, very strange, they fight only for some and they leave others over there. They make you uh, feel like a real American. So, this comes from uh, the Hill. Biden advisor says US is pressing for the release of reporter who has spent 100 days in Russian jail. Today is what, uh, 7th of July, 2023. A weasel right here. White House National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan on Friday said the US has been in contact with Russian officials to press for the release of Wall Street Journal reporter Ivan Gerkovich. Gerskovich. As Friday marked the 100th day of the journalist being detained by the Russian government. So, all right. So, it seems like uh, they're fighting hard for Gerkovich's family. He, Sullivan also spoke with Gerkovich's family. They speak with Whalen's family. Uh, and uh, why not? So, um, let's go and see what's going on here. This is an old article from CNN. It is from uh, December 8, 2022. Exclusive, Paul Whelan tells CNN he is disappointed that more has not been done to secure his release. So remember, this guy is still there. This was the last article I could find on this unfortunate. But hey, <laughs> what do you want? It is what it is. Your name is not Gerkovich and you don't have the same early years as he had. Detained American Paul Whelan expressed his frustration that more has not been done to secure his release in an exclusive CNN interview hours after another detained American, Brittany Greiner, was freed 
Whelan said he was happy that Griner was released, but told CNN, and I'm quoting, I'm greatly disappointed that more has not been done to secure my release, especially as the four-year anniversary of my arrest is coming up. I was arrested for a crime that never occurred, he said in a phone call from the penal colony where he is being held in a remote part of Russia. And I'm quoting, I don't understand why I still Still, I'm still sitting here. Well, because you're Wayland, that's why. So remember, Gerkovic right there. Let's see who's this Gerkovic. As I promised that I would go an early life and education. I like all that. Gerkovic parents, Ella and Mikhail Gershkovich, separately fled the Soviet Union during a period of, period of mass emigration, which never happened. <laughs> but ask older people who uh, lived in Soviet Union how that occurred. In the wake of rumors that Jews were about to be exiled to Siberia, ending up in the United States, ending up in 79 and eventually in New York, where they met. The couple moved to Princeton to Oaks. Okay, so it seems like uh, he is Jewish because they fled because rumors that the Jews were about to exile were about to exile to Siberia. So it's not crazy to infer that uh, Ella and Mikhail and then even Evan are, you know, they left Russia because they were Jews and they were afraid they would be exiled to Siberia, according to this. And um, okay, not anyone uh, said mass emigration. It was a certain kind of emigration. Look what's over there. The 1970s Soviet Union, a liar, was the mass migration of Soviet Jews to Israel after the Soviet Union lifted its ban on Jewish refusenik emigration in 1971. More than 150,000 Soviet Jews immigrated during this period. Good for them. How about we do this? All right. All right, so uh, why not immigrated period mo motivated ver by various by religious and ideological aspiration? Pa, pa, pa. Very good, very good. So some of them emigrated over there, some, were, them, some of them emigrated on the other side. So, not, they are not, the, the point is this. Maybe you can answer this question. I know the answer, but I can say it, it's YouTube, all right? Um, face to face, I will tell you everything. Uh, United States fought for Brittany Griner, you know, the basketball player. They released her. Now they're for, fighting for, for Greshkovich or whatever his name is. They will release him. But somehow well and let's read, if you really, I mean, if we are to look over that, let's watch, let's see these guys is, uh, um, how do you call it? Uh, early years, okay? Maybe? Who knows? Let's go and let me show you this here. Okay. And this politician. No, he's not here. On security. That's not even. Don't have. Don't even have him over here, in this in Wikipedia. Hmm. But let's see. Maybe I find it somewhere else. And voila. Paul Whelan, security director. So he is a Canadian born, former United States Marine with US, British, Irish and Canadian citizenship. He was arrested in Russia, early life. Whelan was born on March 5th, 1970 in Ottawa, Ontario, Canada, to British parents with Irish heritage. <laughs> okay, all right, we got that cleared. I'm glad. I'm not inferring anything, I'm just bringing evidence. Now you connect them or you don't, uh, that's your choice. I don't connect anything, I'm just wondering how come that Whalen, who uh, was a former Marine, which I think is more important than both those guys, as you know, persons who actually fought or at least enlisted, ready to uh, give their lives, his life, for the United States of America, it's left over there, but a basketball player and a journalist are so hard fought for by the US government. I mean, I have my own uh, conclusions on that and are not politically correct. And uh, that's it. And I told you when it was about the Griner, the Griner and Whalen, I said, they just put Whalen over there with the Griner. 
So it doesn't too, seem too obvious that uh, you know they're fighting only for one. The other one is just over there. As uh, see, it's not only for that. They didn't even, even care about these guys, and they blame the Russians. Like the Russians would not cooperate. What would they cooperate with the other guy, Gren Grenchovich, Grinchovich, or the same with the G somehow, Green Griner and Grenkovich, and this is W. Mm -hmm. Gotta wait. You're at the end of the alphabet, it seems like, and. Uh, the same um, accusations, right, of espionage. They're fighting for this guy, but not for that guy. <laughs> you gotta love to be American of a certain kind. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.